Now for a few more former sports stars of tomorrow whose names could be called a little later in the draft. Josh Christopher is a talented guard from Arizona State who could hear his name called in the late first round. He was a five-star prospect when he played at Mayfair High School in California. I definitely welcome it because uh, a couple years ago I was that guy that was on the bench and uh, didn't play a lot and you know I watched all my guys you know become something and of course I wish for the best I'm not a hater I want to see all my brothers do well but uh, I just felt like I was one of those guys too so when I finally got the spotlight it was like okay I have it I'm here just embrace it and keep going getting better. Christopher knows he has the size and quickness to make an impact on either end of the floor but he's always studying the game to make sure he has a mental edge that can match his physical gifts. I think it's a mental thing with me right now. I think I have all the, like, the tools physically, but I think, you know, just as I've grown, I think I have grasped like, the whole mental thing. So, uh, and I've learned I could be a leader on the court, and I've learned I could play with other talent as well, you know, which is going to be something you know, very good going forward in my career. After leading the Houston Cougars to the Final Four, Quentin Grimes is ready for the next step. The versatile point guard was a McDonald's All-American when he played at College Park High School in the Woodlands, Texas. Yeah, definitely, because I know I'm a bigger guard. If I can get the rebound, I can push the break. If there's a man now, we can pass the ball. I love me easy points. So any way I can uh, kind of contribute to every part of the stat sheet, it'll help my team win. As a player of greatness, I don't think that there's just one thing that you do. And I think uh, people probably don't realize it's probably his biggest asset is he's a great passer. And he has great floor vision. And that's a lot of times what separates a lot of players at that level is their ability to see. Uh, players will walk in and they have the ability to shoot the ball and handle the basketball, but they don't see the floor. And they don't see the game progressing. And I think he sees the game, plays in advance. And that's a, that's, that's a big difference for him. Charles Bassey was a five-star prospect in the 2018 class. And most assumed he'd be a one and done. He ended up spending three seasons at Western Kentucky, though, and a six foot 11 inch center will have a good chance to be selected this year. I mean, I bring everything in the team. Defensively, blocking, short game, rebounds. That's what I do every time, running the floor. Offensively, just trying to get the ball and just trying to make plays on my team every time. Charles hasn't been in the United States all that long as he moved to the San Antonio area in 2015 to get a better education and improve his chances of becoming a professional basketball player. It was the other decision I had to make because my dad, he thought of me and playing basketball and he loved the game. So he actually talked me into it, coming out here. And I miss my friends at home, but I had to just give everything up to just come here and just continue my education, going to college and just making it to the NBA someday. Ja'Cory McLaughlin probably wasn't on many NBA draft radars a year ago. But after winning the Big West Player of the Year and leading UC Santa Barbara to the NCAA tournament, Ja'Cory may have a shot to get selected this year. Originally an Oregon State signee, Ja'Cory played for Peninsula High School in the state of Washington. There he helped to elevate a Peninsula program that had won just six games in the past four seasons before he arrived. In his senior season, the team posted its first ever 20-win season, and he graduated with 13 school records. He could drop probably 40 points or more every night if he really wanted to, but it, he's happy when he gets you know, our other guys going. He, he's, he's proven that he belongs to the highest level. I describe myself as a winner. Uh, very competitive, uh, good shot, likes to get my teammates involved, uh, very competitive defensive player. Most star players only value offense. You know, Ja'Cory, you know, he's bought in, you know, the defensive mindset that we implemented our first season. You know, it's, it's defense first. You're going to get your offense through our defense. And he's a guy that's always holding his teammates accountable defensively. So I think when he goes to the college level, he's going to come in right away. He can score, you know, from threes, mid-range, finish at the rim you know, go to the free throw line, knock down free throws. So we call him a quattro threat. I mean, from all four levels, he's a quattro threat. But defensively is where he's going to separate himself from others. Duke combo guard DJ Stewart is hoping to hear his name called in this draft. The freshman played his high school ball at Whitney Young High School in Chicago. DJ is probably one of the most gifted scorers that I've had the opportunity to coach. He, he's a gentleman that's able, or a young man that's able to play at a, at a very high level, a young man that's able to score the basketball, a young man that's, that plays the game the right way and that understands how basketball should be played. Uh, he, he gives us a bona fide offensive player that plays basketball at a very high level. I'm a knockdown shooter. Um, I'm developing more into a point guard, but I'm more of like a combo. I can score. Um, get to the bucket, shoot from deep, get my teammates involved, and I'm um, getting a lot better at defense as well. What you are capable of doing has a lot to do with what you're willing to do to do what it is that you want to do. So how much you want to put into it invariably is how much you're going to get out of it. The next level is always a crap shoot and it's always an opportunity for a young man. And of course, it's an opportunity that all these young people want to aspire to.
Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.